Yo, it's your boy Coinstock, back at it again, stuffing these duffel bags and collecting that cheddar. Before I begin, please, please, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a friend trying to educate you. Oh man, nobody, I mean nobody should be sleeping on this project MM Finance. I mean, today is going to be a chill day. We're just going to look over, now there are two... Uh, very important updates I want to go over, but they'll be kind of like middle to later in the video. But they're actually extremely important in my humble opinion, so you might want to check that out in a minute. But first, I just want to look at all these gains that MM Finance is making. So now it's ranked number 302 on CoinGecko, but honestly, I can see it. I'm not a financial advisor or anything, but I can see it going up. A lot more than just number 302 and the circulating supply is that and the total supply and max supply are that of course you've seen it before and if you don't know what MM finance is or any of the MM ecosystem projects I have a playlist of a video series of that I did of the whole MM ecosystem so you could check those out at the top right corner BAM or the link is in the, in the description. <laughs> and uh, the market cap is 163 million, blah, 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 right? So 119, 10.7% in the green today. I mean, everything's in the green. Bitcoin has been just churning, but MM Finance has been churning and pumping all types of babies, legit. So, all right, so let's look at the max on the chart, if it will load. All right, so yeah, like it, it was down to 23 cents down over here, and now it's even reached to one dollar and 20 cents. And the last time I did an update video on MM Finance, it was what a dollar and four cents, but now it's a dollar and 20 cents. Oh boy, it's mooning, it's parabolic, it's going nuts, everybody's going crazy, money's flipping everywhere, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everything is A-OK -okay on this project. I legit don't know why people are sleeping on this project, I really don't, but, well, there's some VVS Finance heads that are like, oh, I'm sticking with VVS Finance, I know they got, you know, they got their head where it is, but really, realistically, it's MM Finance, and we're actually catching up extremely fast, you know, with 844 million TVL, alright, so there's really, there's no excuse for what VVS Finance is doing, um, well, okay, let's go ahead and look at Chronoscan, Chronoscan, let's see, on the, let's see, on the 9th of March, 2022, there were 14,000 holders, right? And now there's 19,311. And let's see, that's eight days ago. Eight days ago, uh, it was, it gained about 5,000 holders, okay? So in eight days, it gained 5,000 holders. How many more do you guys think will be uh, the next eight days how many holders do you think it would be all right so fully diluted market cap that means if all the money came out of staking or uh, auto compounding or out of svn finance it'd be 192 million nine hundred ninety three thousand sixty dollars so boom shakalaka there it is this project ain't sleeping it's like vegas it it truly is like Vegas. It just keeps on churning. It never sleeps. But then there's Kronos TVL, and Kronos is actually doing fairly well itself. TVL is 3.19 billion, and let's see, like in November on November 23rd, 2021, it was only 780.4 million, and now it's 3.19 billion, and it makes it like what? That makes it like like top. Well, it's definitely top 10 chains in the crypto sphere. Actually, I, I think we could check it, but first, hold on. So, MM Finance, it's been gaining, gaining, gaining. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, 847.95 million to VVS is 1.29 billion. And then Tonic is kind of just been, I mean, it's gained a lot. So, it's 468.38 million. But. MM Optimizer has definitely, which is the baby of MM Finance, one of the most successful 
babies that MM Finance pumped out, and it's gained four hundred seven point twenty four million. So I mean, come on, dude, why are people sleeping? I mean, I'm not a financial advisor or anything, but if it were me and I was out of this project, I would be snatching up every single token right now because we're seeing so many gains all right so now here's the first uh bit of well actually i need to show you the chains top 10 chains real quick if it'll load yeah i think it's gonna load yeah you better load all right so yeah it's top 10 i have flipped waves which has 2.55 billion and uh, Kronos is at 3.19 billion. It's about to flip Polygon with 3.75 billion. So there's that. So I think Kronos could definitely flip Polygon and Tron. I definitely think so. But since Crypto.com is, is an exchange, and plus you see it all the time on the TV, I can totally, I can totally get if people think that it'll be right next to the Binance Smart Chain. But we'll have to see, of course. So we'll see about that now. Let me show you the first bit of news. First bit of news. So first ever, you, okay, well first off, you bastards did it. If you watched my video the other day, you bastards voted, and that is great. All right, there's, so uh, this w was an option of, yes, early unlock 5% out of 9% allocation to partners of total supply and lock for the partnership, or option two, no, do not unlock 5% of total supply and delay partnership for MMF. Now this partnership I talked about the other day, but I'll talk about it right now. So there's this very big partner that's going to get 5% of the total supply, which is like 25 million MMF, and it's going to vest for 18 months instead of the team holding it for only like, I think it was like nine months. So it's double, double that. But it's a supposedly a really big partner, like a huge partner that might help the ecosystem. So I'm very great, grateful for that. But I'm also grateful for y'all. You said... Yes, early unlock and like give it to this partner. All right, you we we did it, brothers. We did it. We're swimming. We're doing it, scallywags. All right, <laughs> all right. That's the first bit of news. But the second bit bit of news is actually extremely important. That's going to be near the end of the video. So let's see. One point one billion total value locked. Uh, that's a dollar nineteen and like like a sixth of a penny. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, right there, so everything's good, everything's set. Um, there's not really much, I'm just showing you the uh, website right here. And uh, actually, let's look at the analytics too. Just a chill video today, guys. You know, um, if it'll load the liquidity, well, you know what, too late. I'm looking at it myself. So now it's roughly 855.92 million in liquidity. And do you see this parabolicness? And do you see what's happening with the volume, 24 hour volume? It keeps going up and up and up. Why is everybody sleeping on this project? I just don't get it. All right. So, um, well, I have Mad Meerkat Optimizer up there, but I don't think we need that. And like SVN Finance, I mean, the TVLs has been going up. Like I think the other day it was like l sub 200 million TVL, but now it's 235,375,814. million, 375,814. And there's four, like now M shares $14,209.50. So things are booming, you know, all the money's coming in. But finally, finally, you're wanting that uh, last bit of news about MM Finance. Well, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. So let me scroll all the way up. Introducing the Madbox Sandbox, accelerating MM ecosystem value. So it's a sandbox for projects on Kronos. All right, hi MM Burrow. It has been an, ama an amazing run since we started just under three months ago. From our humble beginnings in the Mad Meerkat Burrow to our current 1 billion USD TVL, it has been nothing short of a breathtaking experience. And then blah, 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 yada, yada, largest DeFi ecosystem on the Kronos chain. I see no lie there. So today, as the MM ecosystem continues to grow larger, we had more projects approaching us for an opportunity to launch their projects on the Kronos chain. 
Our team has been careful in selecting Launchpad partners so as to ensure that there are little to no overlaps between the projects that launch off us. While this has been an excellent approach in ensuring a constant breath of fresh air, we miss out on opportunities to launch projects that 1. have potential and 2. enhance MM ecosystem value. Hence, this is also why we intend to create a separate innovation zone for projects that meet the above two criteria of one having potential and two being able to help enhance MM ecosystem value. The team will place less focus on filtering out projects that have similar ideas, but place a strong focus on allowing projects who are serious and are able to provide proposals that help us build MM ecosystem value. So what this tells me is that <clears throat> they're creating, I guess, like this launch pad or it's already a thing, but specifically that maybe they even do like a launch pad scenario on their launch, like MM finances, hold on, a launch pad scenario on MM finances launch pad, and then also split it with this, uh, what was it called again? MM box with this MM box. And with the MM box, I think they're going to, have these launchpad projects pair with the MM finance token instead of, you know, like Kronos being the number one. So these projects that are very serious, have potential, will pair with MMF way more than it would with Crow. So this is actually <laughs> this is actually a really sweet idea if I do say so myself. But um, let's continue. Let's continue. All right. So the MF MMF token is increasingly being seen to be a blue chip token where many projects wish to pair the, pair their token right there, pair their token to the MMF token for liquidity. Even as we onboard projects, we wish to ensure that capital continues to circulate within our MM ecosystem. So what they're doing, oh my goodness. Okay, so I think they hit that r nail right on the head. Pair their token to the MF MMF token for liquidity. So they actually want people to launch their projects. I would think I'm not I'm not them or anything, but I would think they want to pair their token to the launchpad projects to MMF so it keeps the money in the MM ecosystem and everything continues to moon. This is a solid solid idea. So innovation is often bred when there's strong competition, and this is precisely what this Launchpad variant seeks to do, promote, promote competition. In this manner, the ultimate winner, winners are those who participate in the MM ecosystem, both investors and builders. Duh. And uh, as the MM team continues to build up cross-chain functionality to help bridge more funds into Kronos, help enhance Kronos TVL and experience. We also seek to build an entire ecosystem of dApps that users can use. Once funds from other chains start flowing into Kronos, because MM Finance is positioned as the largest DeFi ecosystem on Kronos, investors and builders of our ecosystem will be the biggest winners. So this first, so okay, and like the first Mad Box project is going to be announced soon, but this Mad Box right here could actually make MMF explode. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor or anything, but it could actually make uh, MM Finance explode because it's being paired with so many of these projects that on a relatively new blockchain called Kronos. So, oh man, they are dipping their toes. They know what they're doing. MM Finance, you're so competent compared to VVS. You know, like if MM Finance was a woman, if MM Finance was a woman and I saw her on Tinder, I would swipe right. Is that the thing? Yeah, swipe right. And then uh, I would uh, give her a baby. That's what I do with MM Finance. And guess what? That baby, because MM Finance pumps, pumps out a bunch of babies, that baby would still be a successful project, in my humble opinion. But what do I know anyway? And what am I even talking about? <laughs> but what do I know anyway? I'm just keeping you up to date on the down low. But, um... I guess I'll uh, see you guys later.